Tutunan naman natin ngayon kung paano mag-compute using uh, a calculator yung area under the curve sa pag-solve ng mga probability involving normal distribution. Now, in this word problem, the average height of the students in Barshall High School from a normal distributed population is 67 inches with a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. Now, what is the probability that a student is 70 inches taller than the rest of the students in Barstow High School? So, ang kailangan nating isolve dito is yung probability ng isang bata daw is mas matangkad pa sa 70 inches base dun sa given mean and standard deviation na normally distributed dito sa ating word problem. So, sa step 1 natin is isusulat natin yung mga given values dun sa word problem. And every time um, hahanapin natin na magsusolve tayo ng word problems sa normal distribution, lagi tayong may given na mean and standard deviation. So, yung mean natin is 67 inches with a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. At yung x natin dito sa ating word problem will be 70 inches na kung saan hahanapin daw natin yung mga porsyento ng... Uh, uh, sample dito sa ating uh, word problem na mas mataas pa sa 70 inches. Now, yung second step natin, since normally distributed yung ating population, gagamitan natin siya ng z-score para mas standardized natin yung ating value. So, yung step 2 natin is using the z-score, we'll be able to find the value or the standardized value of our x, which is 70 inches. So, x minus mean all over the standard deviation by direct substitution, z is equal to 1.2. So, after step number 2, kailangan nating i-illustrate yung ating area under the curve, so yung normally distributed curve na nakuha na natin yung z-score. From our previous le lesson, alam natin na ang standardized value ng ating standard normal curve will be mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. So ang ating mean ngayon na nasa gitna is equal to 0 at ito yung ating value ng z which is 1.2 which is a few um, numbers or a few units further away from zero. So, ito yung ating approximated value na 1.2 under the normal curve. So, since ang ating word problem, eh hanapin yung 70 inches taller than the rest of the students in Barstow High School, so yung ating inequality will be greater than symbol. So, hahanapin natin yung ating area under the curve which is greater than 70 inches or 1.2 dun sa ating z-score. So, ito yung ating shaded region under the curve or under the normal curve na hahanapin natin using TI-84. So, ito ngayon yung ating notation sa ating probability under the normal curve which is probability of z greater than 1.2. So, once again, itong 1.2 ay yung z-score natin na kung saan nagmula siya sa 70 inches na ginawan lang natin ang standardized value para magamit natin yung ating normal distribution. At ito yung ating step number 3. Hahanapin natin ngayon yung um, probability or yung area under the curve using TI-84. So, yun yung ating step number 4. So, ito yung syntax na kakailanganin natin using TI-84. So, pwede rin yung gamitin yung inyong table of values doon sa inyong mga statistics book. Pero, for today, gagamitan natin ng technology yung ating word problem para mahanap natin tong area under the curve. Which is sa TI-84, it's second function bars and number 2 para lumabas yung ating normal CDF na function na may syntax na minimum, comma, maximum, comma, mu, comma, sigma or standard deviation and then if a plug in yung lang yung mga values na yan sa calculator para makuha nyo yung inyong specific value. So gamitin natin yung calculator para mahanap natin yung area under the curve. So, sabi dun sa syntax, kailangan lang natin ng second function, vars, and then use the second feature of your calculation, which is normal CDF. At sa normal CDF, kailangan nyo ng apat na numbers. Yung minimum value, at yung minimum value natin kanina will be 1.2, kasi yun yung ating um, value dun sa nakuha nating normal curve, 1.2 comma, positive infinity, which is given by 1 E 9 9. So, yan yung positive infinity sa TI-84. 
comma zero, which is your mean, comma one, which is your standard deviation, closing parentheses, and you'll have your specific value for your area under the curve. So I'm adding area under the curve is 0 0.115069731 rounded up to the nearest ten thousandths. So yung gagamitin natin ngayon using the calculator is yung 0.1151. So ito ngayon yung area under the curve. At since nakuha na natin yung area under the curve using our calculator, pwede na natin i-conclude na ang probability that a student will be 70 inches taller than the rest of the students of Barstow High School is 11.51%. So yan yung paggamit ng TI-84 para makuha nyo yung area under the curve sa isang normal distribution.